All right, hey there, everybody. How's it going? Is Dragos and oh, my mic is up too high. <laughs> Welcome back to Slime Rancher. Now it has been a while since I um last played this. I believe the last one was me trying to get Mochi Miles biggest upgrade which you actually get the ranch that she has uh i actually gave up on doing that because i just didn't have the time and honestly it it, it just didn't seem to click right with me so if you're wondering why we're back i'm just looking at this to see if there's anything new which surprisingly enough there isn't um it's because the newest update is now a thing. The newest update being uh, the job, the one you have to do for Victor's Lab experiments or something like that. It's really interesting. So let's see. Victor. Neither of those are Victor. So I did actually do a little bit of a look into um, what it involved. And to be able to do it, you have to have the treasure podcracker mark 2 have to unlock like ancient ruins and the desert i believe but yeah as you can clearly see i think we're good on that stuff um hopefully so what's this next seven oh right yeah <laughs> those ones one hundred and fifty thousand. Okay, let's see if we can get something from Victor so we can go do his stuff. I don't want either of those guys. Okay. You know, I'll just fast forward to the point where we actually have a job request from Victor. And while I'm doing that, I'll just feed my dudes. I don't even have on me. Extractors. I have a gold slime lamp. Oh my god. I forgot that I built that. That's right, I built that in between. Yes, when I was hunting for gold slimes. Ah, uh, right, now to figure out where the hell I can put it. Because <laughs> in case you haven't noticed, we've got slime lamps all over the place. Um, those ones are taken. <gasps> oh, we could put it right next to the golden gordo, hell yeah. Decorations, gold slime lamp, install. That's awesome. Curious? No? Okay. I feel like I have some extractors set up, but look at that. Gold slime gorda. And a gold slime lamp. That's beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna check if I have any extractors set. Yeah, I do. I have these ones out here, and then I believe I have... Should have some in, um... What is it? Mossy blanket. That's the one I was thinking. So, I'm going to check those, and then I'm going to come back and check the range exchange again, because apparently Victor doesn't want to give me a job yet. I almost thought the sun had a slime face. That would have been funny. But yeah, one thing I am actually legitimately looking forward to with this update is uh, one of the things they added, which is you can get drones to do two things. Rather than just one. So I could have an army of drones taking care of everything. Especially in here. Come on, Victor. I need Victor. Neither of those are the person I want. Oh my god. Um, I, I'm just going to be right back once I have the thing from Victor. So, you know. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Okay, we're back, and we got something from Victor, thank goodness. If possible, please acquire the following for a future study. My thanks. Uh, seven boom slimes, four mosaic slimes, that's easy. It's actually really easy, because uh, I have shortcuts all over the place. See, I thought about this. And then once we do this, we get Victor's... We get to do Victor's experimental stuff, which is do with glitch slimes. I believe I have a better chance of finding both lots here. You, you. Okay, come on, give me a couple more. 
You. Don't need Derbush, I need Mosaics. Anyone else seen a Mosaic Slime? Hey, have you seen a Mosaic Slime around here? Oh, just someone turned into a Largo just then. Yep. Beautiful. I think I needed four of you guys and then... Seven Booms, was it? God, I love those teleporters. Can find Boom Slimes in here, easy enough. It's number two. Number three's up there. I'm gonna take that little puddle slime. I didn't actually want the puddle slime, I wanted the thing next to it. Okay, two more. Okay, where are we? Here we go, there's a boom honey. Which means there's a boom in here, there he is. Oh yeah, let's go. Aha, beautiful. Yeah. Let's get you guys in here too. Be good to have more than one food source for my dudes. Mm, right, I got the mail from Victor Humphrey, so we have to go read that and then we'll be able to do his thing. I have 134... Jeez. Didn't see that. We're almost at the sec uh, next 7-0 rewards tier. Uh, unless we have to buy a gadget in between. Because if there's a good gadget in between, I'm getting it. You know how I roll. There we go. Star mail. Assistance required. Miss Lebeur. Um. Flues maker, if you ever watch this, can you please tell me how to pronounce her name? Like, her last name? Because I believe it might be French. I'm not sure. Um. But yeah. Then again, Flues doesn't really... Watch myself. If you're wondering who Flues maker is, uh, I did a couple collabs with him. Uh, it was Worlds Adrift, the 2 FPS man, and Minecraft the Walls. Um, he's French Canadian, I believe. So he knows his stuff, so that's why I'm asking him at some point, but I doubt he'll see this. Unless someone watching this forwards it to him and then says, hey, how do you actually pronounce that? Because I know I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I've heard your accomplishments here on the far, far range. You seem capable, quick thinking, and able to adapt to the new conditions. Exactly the kind of person I need for my latest project. Should you find this proposition agreeable, I have activated the teleporter. An undersea workshop. Please tell me we get this. Okay, okay. An undersea workshop? Yo, this I gotta see. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Teleporter in your lad to go to his underwater workshop. How did he even build it down there is my first question. There it is. Oh, yo, this is sci-fi as hell. Yo, what's good, buddy? Hello, Beatrix. Thank you for taking the time to assist me with this project. Mm. Well, the matter at hand, I need some assistance testing an in-development simulated reality of the far, far range. I am attempting to use the simulation to predict behavior, slime behaviors and evolution. This guy's my kind of guy! <laughs> Alternatively, you could call it a slimulation. I, yeah, this this is this is another version of me. <laughs> hmm. I had calculated a response of at least a mild chuckle from that wordplay. But no matter, let us proceed. My slimulation is an infinitely complex project that could be the key to understanding slimes on a level we never dreamed. However, it sadly riddled bugs. Yo. <laughs> Well, not bugs per se. Technically speaking, they are flawed simulation of a slime that has discovered a way to replicate. Fascinating in its own right, but very much disrupting my studies. I call these I call these entities glitch slimes, and I need you to help me collect them for study. Here's how it works. Enter the slimulation and begin exploring. Your goal is to collect glitch slimes, which will automatically be turned into bug reports upon exiting 
the slimulation. However, it's easier said than done. Glitch slimes have exhibited curious behaviour of conforming to the surroundings. Perhaps to avoid detection from me, it's not clear. Interesting. Refocusing the discourse. Glitch slimes will look like normal slime lagos and objects within the environment, though something is usually off about them. To reveal them, back up the lagos, uh, you suspect, and use my handy dandy... I, I just said handy dandy even though handy dandy wasn't there use my handy debug spray on suspicious objects in the environment as a reward for your efforts i will grant you the manifold cubes a special multi-purpose resource i invented which you oh i like this guy already okay oh no <laughs> Oh god, this is interesting. When this goes, I'll be sure to signal the beacon on the first available location where you can... Okay, so there's a danger to it as well. This is interesting. Okay, great. Yep, cool. A hundred of them gets me that stuff. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I guess I go up here. Oh, that's awesome. Let's go. The slimulation of virtu uh, virtually better than the real thing. Yo, this is so cool. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> so yeah, if you couldn't tell what's different about them, they look like Ditto! <laughs> if you look at their face, they have the Ditto face. You know, in the um, Pokemon anime when Ditto got um, its transformations wrong? They have that face and I love it. Oh my god. So you actually have to look really closely at their face. Interesting. Let's go up here. Anything along this way? Interesting. He's modeled pretty much the entire area. That's impressive. And I see what he means about glitches. Or oh, buggy. Okay, debug spray. If something doesn't look right in the environment, we shoot it with this. Okay, not the tech one. They look like normal parts of the environment, alright. There's always something off about it. Yeah, this is like, this is making me paranoid. <laughs> ah. There's a couple glitches. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There you are. You're, you're fine. You're fine. I guess they look like part of the environment, but there's... Sneaky. I love these glitch signs. They look hilarious. Where'd that last one go? There he is. Something... Called it! Okay, so... The differences can range from... I saw that. Get back here. Ah, so they do disappear after a while. That is very interesting. So if it's a thing in the environment, it's really, like, subtle. Like, it will be a tree that has fruit on it, but the fruit doesn't fall sort of thing. Or the tree wiggles. <clears throat> I think that's the easiest way to tell. It's a glitch. Oh god, I got too many of these guys on me. Hey, little dude. God, this is actually really interesting. And, uh, kind of a lot of fun. 
Okay, so he hasn't done that area. Wait, so if I go over this way. So the differences are really, like, really subtle. If it's part of the environment. But if they're a slime, it's much easier to notice. See? Like, infinitely easier to notice it as a slime compared to if it is part of the environment. Which is rather quite interesting to me. Thank you for coming to me. Okay, you're a little, little glitch. Uh-oh. Oh god. Ah, uh, where's the way to get out, Victor? Oh god, it's happening everywhere. Vector, Vector, where do I get out? Certainly not this one. Oh Jesus! Vector, where the hell do I go? They're everywhere. Great. <laughs> Victor. Now's not the time to be playing. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Exit portal activated. Where? Okay, 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 okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This way? That way. Oh my god, he wasn't kidding about those things. Jeez. That is, like, legitimately terrifying. Okay, cool, you get more there. <laughs> Oh god, they're everywhere. That's like, at the same time, while it's absolutely incredible, it's also a little bit terrifying. Just like seeing these holes and what's pretty much the reality of this game. Okay, I know where I'm going. <laughs> Sorry little glitch dudes, I'm not picking you up. Oh my god, that is intense. Whoo, crikey. Yeah. The bug reports. Interesting. So we need... Another, how many? 68. Okay. Oh, I think we do unlock this place, and I am looking forward to it. All right, round two. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Like, legitimately speaking, this is a lot of fun. Uh, okay. I just have to move quicker. Yeah, move quicker than I did. Because if I don't, those really messed up tar things come out. Really quick. Where'd that one glitch dude go? I know there was another one around here. There he is. Okay, debug spray. Let's go. The tricky part is some of these slimes like to face the wall. So you gotta be... Very perceptive. And... Oh my god. 
Say that again, I missed the same glitch slime eight times. Probably. <laughs> yeah, see, there was no tree there. I guess it's like knowledge of the map plus like being able to discern differences. Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? Come here! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, so it's very much knowledge of the map for the environmental ones, which is kind of difficult. Okay, you guys all look pretty normal. Moving on. Nice try. So, lucky slime glitch slimes produce a lot of them at once. Interesting. Also, Give me a sec. If I'm remembering correctly. Yep, no, nah, they've already gone. It's gonna say there's usually not a tree here. So if you don't notice it quick enough and don't back it up quick enough, it it just vanishes. That's that's a nice touch. I just love their little like ditto face pretty much. It is adorable. <laughs> Let's go this way, because I didn't explore the full lot of this place. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There was more, there was more. Dang. There he is. Come here, you little bugger. Wow. <laughs> Trying to kill me, eh? <laughs> I see your game. <laughs> Is there anything up here? No, there isn't. Okay, let's leave this area, because this area does not look like fun. <laughs> I wonder if any of these guys turn out to be glitches. Yeah, there's one right there. Ow, 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 ow. X portal activated. Right. Where am I going? Oh my god, so if they bite you, you lose glitch slimes? That's a nice touch. Okay. Grab it. Last couple for the road. <laughs> And let's get out of here. 50 that time though. Oh my gosh, that, that is legitimately like tense. I want to at least get the um, first reward. Oh wow, he does manifold cube. It's a little bit of everything, huh? Okay, so we just have to get 18 more, but I want to get these into here. Last run for this video. This should be interesting. Ooh, started me over here. So it's random where you start, huh? I can dig it. Come here, you little buggers. Hey, I didn't even see that there. What's this gonna give me? Fruit slime bait. Ah, that's interesting. Hey, hey, get back here, get back here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These little dudes are everywhere. <laughs> where do you go, where do you go, where do you go? This is like legitimately moments of, huh. And I like that about this. Oh, another treasure pod cracker. Or oh, treasure pod, I, sh I should say. Battery tower. 
power something somewhere. Okay, power something somewhere makes me think that, uh... <laughs> might be something of Victor's. Okay. This is actually, like, very interesting. Because you can also get these guys as them. Haha! -ha, I was right. Where'd that other one go? I think I got him. On to the next area. Ow. Nope! No slime is worth dealing with those guys. I am sorry. <laughs> I, I seriously do hate those, like, tar things that pop up. They are genuinely creepy. Oh my god, you can send them through those. I did not realize you could send them through those. I actually feel a little bit, da a little bit bad for doing that. <laughs> Oh, thank god, oh, thank gosh. There we go. <laughs> we got there in the end, peeps. We got there in the end. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what did you just give us? Hello again, Beatrix. I'm currently in the middle of important work and require focus time for the next several minutes. Therefore, I have contracted out the phase one reward distribution to a scientific colleague of mine, connecting you now. Is that Bob? It's Bob. Chicken. Chicken equal chicken plus chicken. Hmm. Now then, I trust that my colleague has compensated you well. Hmm. No, I've never actually met him in person. That's not unusual for me. You see, I generally run simulations for everything. Okay. Interesting. So phase two gets the drone thing, I believe. 360. I'm a little bit of the way there already, so that's interesting. And we'll take these back, because I want to see what on earth we just got. If it's like some sort of chicken transporter, I'm going to laugh so hard. Okay, it's not in utilities. Oh, uh, not an extract. Is this chick utilities? <laughs> Chicken cloner. Oh my god. <laughs> How did I know? How did I know? That is amazing. <laughs> it's literally a chicken cloner. It was Bob, so of course it is. Oh, that makes too much sense. <laughs> Anyway, I'm all out of time for this episode, so thank you everybody so much for watching. This is Drago, signing out, and I'll catch you guys next time.